is my first bike I've ever ridden on dirt. So I bought this bike, and this is the road I went on. So I'm going, hey, I got this is cool, man. I'm on an asphalt road. I'm king of the world. Confidence is high. I can do this. So we're on this road. It's called the Rancheria Road. It goes up in the mountains, and I am so pumped to ride this road. It's going to be my first dirt experience. And I'm riding with a guy that's a really good rider. He's just so patient with me when I'm riding. So here we come to this end of the asphalt, pavement ends. And man, we go right to dirt. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I, oh, I stood up because that's what you're supposed to do when you're riding adventure bikes. I feel wonderful. And oh my gosh, I've got these Shinko 705s on the back and the bike is like moving. It's like it's not going straight. And for 100,000 miles the last five and a half years, my bike's always went straight. It's never wiggled, right? So that is a new thing to me. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I've got the wrong tires on. This bike is moving in the sand. I can't believe it. What am I gonna do? I bought the wrong tire. So I was riding this big heavy adventure bike, my first bike on this road. I'm riding this road, this exact road, about the same location, going about 35 miles an hour. And I'm just panicked because I feel this big heavy adventure bike moving just a little bit on this dirt. I've never felt that before. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I've got the wrong, I got the wrong tires. My tire needed to be deflated and inflated. So when we stopped up here, I asked my buddy, I go, hey man, my bike's moving around. Maybe you should follow me and see what's going on. He goes, what's wrong? I don't know, it's wiggling just a little bit. He goes, dude, that's because you're riding in dirt. Your bike will always wiggle in dirt. Oh, I was so happy. But nonetheless, I learned that in dirt, even a big heavy adventure bike will wiggle in the dirt.